Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and yesterday Google launched the brand new version of the developer preview for Android M. It's the second one that's been released so far and there have been a few changes. I'm going to take you through a quick tour of all the new stuff that we've noticed and you can let me know what you think. Probably the most obvious change from the first preview is that the app drawer has been redesigned. It's much easier to use and much more pleasing on the eye. If you open the app drawer now, what you'll get is four columns of apps in a grid and you scroll up and down them vertically. What's new about this preview is that you'll notice a green scroll bar on the right hand edge of the app drawer. You grab that and you can just scroll up and down through the letters. And it's all arranged alphabetically so it's easy to find all the apps that you could want. Now what's really cool is you go to the widget screen and you'll notice that this has been organized in a very similar manner. You can scroll up and down your widgets options using the scroll bar on the edge as well. One of the other really major changes is that you can now have your Google Now Launcher's home screen in horizontal view or landscape view and it's very simple to activate all you need to do is press and hold your home screen go into the settings for your launcher and you'll see one of the options at the bottom gives you a toggle to allow rotation just make sure that's on and when you turn it to its side you get a landscape view of your home screen another cool option is that you can easily and quickly delete any screenshots that you can take so you take your screenshot the regular way pressing and holding the power and volume buttons together now then if if you scroll down on your notification drawer to see your screenshot you have the option to share it or delete it. A lot of the other changes are very minor and stuff that you won't notice if you're not a developer. There are new system user interface tuner options in list. You can even access a new storage and USB option within the settings. And what this allows you to do is that it's got sort of a built-in really easy to access file manager. You can also see how much of your phone's active memory is being used. Stephen Hall, one of our bloggers over at 9to5Google has made a really good list of all the changes he's noticed in the developer preview or the second developer preview. I'll leave a link to that article in the description box as well as links to instructions on how to install it and how to get going with the developer preview if you have never done it before. I'm Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton and this has been me on 9to5Google. I will see you again soon.